Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about slicers in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. If you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is slicers in Excel. So slicers in Excel are software filters used along with Excel tables or Excel pivot tables over a large amount of data. Not just filtering out data, but slices also help you with an easy understanding of the information being extracted and displayed on the screen. Now Microsoft Excel slices are compatible with Windows and Macintosh operating systems. Now let us understand how to implement slicers in Excel. So for that, we might want to get back to the practical mode, that is starting our Microsoft Excel. Now we are on our Excel sheet and as you can see on my screen, there is some data available on the Excel spreadsheet. And this table is not just any table. This table from Microsoft Excel has been converted into an actual table. As you know, by default, Excel considers all the data which has been inserted into the spreadsheet as a database. And to implement the slices in Excel, we might want to create or convert the format of database into a normal table. For that, you can select all your data and just press Ctrl T and that will allow you an option called convert the data into table. Now, since this table is already converted as a table, we can directly start implementing or inserting slices into the spreadsheet. Now for that, select all your data. Then go into the insert option. And in the insert ribbon, you can see the filters group. And in the filters group, select the option called slicer. Now you will be provided with multiple options. Since we have the columns employee ID, employee name, zone, designation, department, salary, employee's date of birth and employee's date of joining. So we can choose any of the options available according to our columns and create the slices. Now let me select the first one that is zone, next designation, department and let's also select employee name. Now press OK and there you go we have our slices. Now let us try to rearrange these slices. All you can do is just select and drag them up. And done. Now let us imagine that we want to see or take a look at the employees who are working in the east zone. Then we have all the information displayed on the screen who are working in the East Zone. They are Jack, Tony, Banner, Fred, etc. And their department, designation, etc, etc. All on one single screen. So this really helps you while you're presenting your data in a presentation. Now, for a change, let's try to select the department. Now, if your client wants to select the data from only analytics department then you might want to select on the analytics key on the department slicer and there you go you have an employee called luke hobbs who works in the east zone and his department is analytics and his designation is contract based and the salary he is getting is sixty five thousand. now similarly uh, you can see that we have only selected analytics and your client also wants data from it support now you can see that analytics is gone but what if you want both analytics and IT support then you have an option called select multiple then you can select analytics and IT support and if you want HR you can also do that and in the zone if you want west along with east then you can do the same east and west and you have all the employee details and in the designation let's try to select uh, senior trainee Okay, select multiple, senior, trainee, and manager. So that's how you do it. So that's how it's done and that's how you implement slicers in Excel to simplify the filtering options using slicers during a presentation. And with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on slicers in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you need the data set we use in this particular tutorial, 
then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.